This channel is proudly sponsored by Flux Fantasy, an anime-style alternate 1990s tabletop RPG, where you wield the power of karmistry to manipulate reality itself. Check out the core rulebook and many other things, you will find the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Rift Runner's second renewal. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this counter-apocalyptic tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. As you can see, it has a new cover. We are going to continue with the character classes, starting with the Ballista. Thanks to the advances of technology, we can turn a normal bow into a massive crossbow with high power. Useful when dealing with the darkness and hidden enemies, this class can mark targets for other units while outputting massive damage. You have abilities such as Target Lock. This unit will never miss an attack on a marked target. It cannot be dodged. You also have Rail Shot. Fire around through enemies and objects. You also have Tip Bolts. Attack but change the damage type from Shot to one other type. And these are just a few of the abilities. Next we have the Color. Bring forth beasts from the Legends of Old, calling them to your aid. You have abilities such as Beast Taming. Gain the ability to summon creatures. You can only summon one at a time, and have up to one out at a time. Summoning takes your general action, but you also have Summon Beast. Increase the amount of summons you can have out to two. You can also summon two on the same round. You also have Coordinated Attack. You or your summon attacks one unit in range. The next time it is attacked by you or your summon, Roll one extra damage dice. Those are just a few of the abilities of the color. Now let's talk about the summons and summoning rules. All players have two summon stars. A hard limit of two summons can be out per player character. There can only be a maximum of four summon stars available to a person at a time. Make note, however, that each party can only have up to three summons or helpers or mercenaries or slaves at a time. Summons cannot be healed, instead they must be re-summoned. Summons also do not disappear out of combat and will persist in the physical world. In combat at the start of each round, one summon star becomes available for use. On the start of the second round, all four can be used. These summon slots can be divided amongst your summons in any way that you please. Summons will always follow your orders and roll dice equal to your stats when attempting an action that requires a roll. And of course you have stats related information to the types of creatures that you can summon, that is information on their HP, the damage that they can deal and their movement. And of course it depends on the size of the creature that you summon. There are small creatures, but there are also creatures that are almost as large as an elephant. And this concludes this part of the review, in the next part we are going to continue with the character classes. I like how there is this certain bond between the color and the monsters or creatures that the color is controlling or taming, simplifying the stats and making coordinated attacks a simple affair. And when it comes to the Ballista, it is pretty straightforward, you deal a lot of damage, and you mark your enemies, making it easier for the other members of the group to target those enemies. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member or use the super thanks button. You can also check out the pinned comment below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, in tabletop RPGs, you are not having a conversation about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later!